I am down here at the Mississippi River Valley. This is clip two from our hike. Right here we got Mr. Kuko, who's a 11 month old F2 Lycan Shepherd, my long coated Shepherd Lobo. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Or should I say evening, it's just about dusk. Come along, I hope you enjoy it. Luko is an F2 Lycan Shepherd from the Lycan Shepherd Project. Just turned 11 months old today. Lobo is a uh, six-year-old long-coated German Shepherd. And Tammy's my wife of 23 years. <laughs> and I'm just some guy on YouTube. <laughs> and enjoying the evening. Experimenting with some different settings on the GoPro. Going with a little narrower aspect ratio, but uh, still uh, a little wider than the 4K one and just seeing how it does. Come on. Because it's uh, a little lower light and, uh, right now uh, being uh, almost dusk. Damn it, Lobo. Beating my legs up with that stick. Because it's a little lower light now being uh, close to dusk. I can't, uh, the 4K settings don't have a low light setting on it. So I'm uh, experimenting with some different settings with the 2.7. Let's we'll see how it works in this situation. I know people said uh, with the last uh, 2.7 video I shot uh, with uh, K-Bar that uh, it was a little too fish eye -y. So I went with a slightly narrower aspect and we'll see how that works. But I didn't go with the total linear. Hey. This way. Nope, nope, nope. This way. Good boys. Ooh, there's some mosquitoes through here, Tim. Let's get out of this area. <laughs> now that the uh, sun's starting to set a little bit, uh, mosquitoes are starting to come out. Lobo, seriously, stop that. Ugh. Scraping the hell out of my legs. Come here. Yeah, you know. Stop that. <laughs> He's like, nope. <laughs> hey, good to see you see your mosquitoes on my back? Yes. Thank you. I could feel that sucker. Dead. Right here. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Just an excuse to slap me in the head, huh? <laughs> you fell for it. <laughs> okay. I remember that. Hey. Good boy. There was one. Yeah, I saw that one. That doesn't win you any brownie points, though, after Pimp slapping me in the head. Cap <laughs> around. Ah. Chewed up. No. I don't feel so bad. to start using that stuff. It's in the car.
end. What's that? Puka went in the deep end. Did he really? Yeah. Found out uh, that it gets deep real quick. Oh, by the way, if uh Somebody asked about the shirt. Uh, I'm just here for the violence. It's a military shirt. It's a army infantry shirt. That's a army CIB combat badge on the shirt. So that's the meaning of the shirt for you civilians who are maybe curious. It's not saying I uh, promote violence. It's a military thing. Blue Cord Brotherhood. Ooh. <laughs> So I do promote violence in the right situations. Right, Tim? I said I do promote violence in the right situations. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's a necessary evil. It's unfortunate it has to be that way, but humans are a violent species. I know, because I've been in situations where I've seen them at their worst. I hope most of you haven't ever been in those situations. We're here at the scene of the uh, Mississippi Witch House. Like I said, this is a good test of the low light capabilities here. And this is the Mississippi Witch House here, the newer one. The Mississippi Witch. Jeez. Oh, there's even mosquitoes around here. Mm -hmm. Usually this place is pretty free. Look up. Oof. Really? <laughs> it's shaking behind me. A bag of something. You never know what's going to be in a bag at a dog park. Usually it's something you don't want. Be easier to go. Give me your hand, I'll pull you up the dry spot here. It's wet there though.
Well, Tim, I guess they didn't come back and pick it up. <laughs> you saw our last uh, video with the K bar, you'd know what we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to just head up here to the high ground because the mosquitoes. Hey, up, up. Good boys. Well, as we're climbing up out of the valley, it's starting to get a little lighter now. Coming up on some of the runoff of cold water spring. They went through uh, last year and cut out a bunch of the uh, invasive buckthorn in this area. Let some of the oaks come back through. <laughs> so they shut off all those little bags? Yeah, it looks like it. There's still some. But yeah, it looks like they removed most of them. These little bags that they have here are over some of the stumps that they treated. And then uh, slowly they've been removing them. <laughs> well, I haven't been uh, real talkative this hike. Uh, just because it's been such a beautiful evening. I'm just kind of looking at everything and soaking it in. Uh, I don't always have the most interesting things to say anyways, so uh, if I don't have anything too important, uh, sometimes I think it's better to just let the scenery and the dogs do the talking. Often uh, some of the best moments in these videos uh, 
where I have information to pass along. Uh, just kind of happen as the video's uh, going along, as in, uh, you know, we have some type of encounter during the hike that then uh, allows me to show a teaching moment on film or, you know, other odds and ends. Uh, sometimes uh, just walking and uh, experience things uh, just makes things come to mind that I feel like passing along. Other times I'm uh, just walking along enjoying the scenery in silence with my sweetie. Is that a tree or a vehicle? What the hell was that? Yeah. You know there's a path up here. There could be, uh, they could be doing some work with a vehicle yeah. up there because that almost sounded like a truck or something. But it's Sunday. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, you know, there's really no police anywhere, so that, that could be anybody <laughs> driving a truck up there. Well, this is going to be a long video. I hope you guys don't mind. flowers. So pretty. Mm -hmm. pretty yeah, this is a, uh, turns into a huge field of uh, wildflowers in uh, another couple months. It's really beautiful. It's chasing some little trigger for you. Lobo's always looking for something. Probably a mouse or something in there. Chip on Hey! Ooh, coon. Yeah, they just treat a raccoon. You see him going up the tree there? Come on! 
Huh? Yeah, he's a big one. Come on. Come on, Puko. That gives you a chance to see. People often wonder what happens when my dogs see wildlife. Do they take off after it? I'm able to call them off that kind of stuff very easily. We see deer, coon, occasionally coyote and fox down here. There's all kinds of stuff. And uh, despite the fact that my dogs all have real strong prey drive, I am able to call them and they do respond. Well, I think this is a good place to wind the video out. Nice little grove here. Come here, poop man. Mr. Fuko, Mr. Lobo, hope you enjoyed our hike with us, that's all, bye. Bye from the beautiful Tammy, like, subscribe and share, see ya.